Basic Beginners Tenor Guitar and Baritone Ukulele Chicago Tuning DGBE Perfect Timing A Focused Approach Book 1 Lesson 9 Part 1 um, We were uh, doing the uh, Streets of Laredo as we ended last one last lesson video um, we we'll pick up there and um, it's in 3-4 time. It has a pickup note. Uh, it had, The counting, I think, is tricky. I want to play the, the melody. We'll talk about the chords in a little bit. But uh, I want to play the melody just real kind of slowly and try to count. Uh, so here's the kind of the sound of it. I'll do the chords in a little bit. It's like, As I walked out in the streets of Laredo As I, oh, sorry. As I walked out in Laredo one day I saw a young cowboy all dressed in white linen Boy, for a class that's so on perfect timing, I'm just jumping all over Arnie with my timing, but just wanted you to hear how that goes. Um, so that's the melody and the feel of it. Um, if we were to play, let's play and count. One, two, three, three. and I'm going to do, I have the counts there on the bottom of the page. And again, we're on page 62 to show these in the video it kind of helps me later um but i have the counts written underneath let's play it and and kind of do that okay so the pickup note will be this g third fret note right on um right on three okay so it'll be like one two three one play as i okay but I'm not going to sing. I'm going to, I mean, sing the words. I'm going to kind of count the, the the counts, okay, underneath while I play the notes. So you do kind of, you just play, and I'll count. Uh, so one, two, three, one, play, three, one, two, three, and three, and that's the tricky part. The, the ands are in here intermittently. You could count one and two and three and four, or it's three four times. So one and two and three and one and two and three and okay. But let's do it just how I have it written there. Uh, kind of help us follow along. Ready? We'll say one, two, three, one, play. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, uh, one. I'm, I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. Um, Let's start again. Counts. Ready? One, two, three, one, play. Three, one, two, and three. One, two, three, one, two, and three. One, two, three, 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 one. Two and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm sorry. Uh, last line again. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, and it was two, it's three, four times, so the last measure was just two counts. It was just clay, the word clay is just one, two. So there's two counts there and one at the beginning. Golly, I'd like to do that again, just to be a little smoother. Might help you. Hmm. But let's go to the chords. I think you can you can do that. Do, try to count once you get the, the notes kind of under your belt. Uh, and you, the thing is, you have a pickup note at the beginning. It's a uh, quarter note, and then you have a dotted quarter note. It's in three, four time. And then you have an eighth and a quarter following, and you have to count that kind of as it is. Let's. I'll, I'll try the. I may just keep going right through it again. Let's just try it again. One, two, three. And I'm doing it very. I'll do it very slow because that that does help a lot with this one. I think it's a little tricky. One, two, three. One, play. Three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, 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 three. Okay, hopefully you can see my fingering. Got a number of elements going on here, trying to make sure I'm I'm kind of my peripheral. I think your peripheral vision is this way. Kind of have it going this way too, and trying to uh, keep my hands in the <laughs> the view. Uh, and I'm seeing that uh, as I'm playing, but also trying to read here with the music. You're getting tired of these excuses, probably. I imagine, but uh, let's try um, to do the chords. Uh, Pretty neat. Um, I think we kind of did. Uh, no, that was the last one. Red River Valley, right? We did the. Uh, or, well, that was way back. Jingle bells. We haven't done the chords on this, so. Uh, um, this will be probably easier than the melody. Um, kind of hum the melody and play the chords. Um, and um, let's see if there's any there. Let's see. I'm trying to think if there are any. The sevenths and all the minor. There are ever any in these songs as we're going through that I haven't touched on. I tried to make sure I didn't put songs in uh, with chords prior to one, but you know your your last page has all the chords. I think I probably touched on that before. And um, but let's try it. Starting on the C chord, and you have your pickup note. You know, so it's like kind of you don't strum until it's like one, two, three, one, two. As I walk out in the streets of Laredo, and it's the, I'm just doing the three down strums. Laredo, one day I saw a young cowboy all dressed in white linen, all dressed in white. D minor. Technically, just on the two, kind of uh, as cold as the clay. Maybe just strum once there at the end, but technically it's two two beats for the measure there. Um, so, uh, I, and this is going to be another um, thing that we're really not working on at all. But just to whet your appetite, for, I, have, I don't do too much in all of all of these uh, lessons of just. Performing that's not really what I intended to do here, but uh, just to whet your appetite for what you can do with uh, your little baritone uke or your uh, tenor guitar uh, tuned in Chicago as we're doing um, There's there are finger picking things so I've thrown my pick down. I know some of the uke, uke players you're probably doing Just bare fingered if you notice uh, that's kind of a, a ukulele thing um, Can also be on tenor guitar, but you know, I've been using my pick, if you've noticed, certainly for the single notes, but even the strumming. But um, when you get to, uh, there are simple picking patterns. This will sound maybe tricky or difficult, and it, it takes some time, too. It's another learning process. Um, but you can do things like, as I walk out in the streets of the I saw a young cowboy all dressed in white linen, all dressed in white linen, as cold as the clay. Okay, so. There's a lot of nice things you can do with finger picking. And that was with bare fingers, all bare fingers, my thumb. But there are also things you can do uh, with a flat pick and finger. As I walk down the streets of Laredo. You got to change the feel on that with those, uh, you know. You know, 
Um, okay, I'm gonna stop on that. So, uh, what did I know? I said tricky stuff. I'm getting back to the counting. Tricky stuff, and it sort of is. Uh, I added the counts on this one because it's a little bit tricky. Um, also notice there is a lead-in note, and we talked about all that in the incomplete measure, first and last. Um, and I said, note, sometimes chords are shown uh, with each new measure. Example, Jingle Bells, page 61, but sometimes, as with Billy Boy here, there, that next song, they're only shown when they change, okay? So I'm going to do the chords first on Billy Boy, uh, although I'll give you a brief, how does this song go? Notice it has an F sharp in the... Uh, in the key signature, so uh, oh, and there's a pickup uh, measures and back to four four time, but there's only two quarters, so it's one two oh, one two three four one two three four one two three four one two oh, you know uh, at the beginning again oh where ah, I can't see it oh where have you been Billy boy Billy boy oh where you know, oh, where have you been, charming Billy? Okay. Oh, I have a dotted half note and a tie there, middle of that song. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you how that goes. Uh, but with the chord, that little comment about the chords, the, the chords don't change often. As you see the first line, it's like G all the way through the second line is D. So, you know, if it was 4-4 four, four time, I'll just do the downstrokes. Uh, Oh, where I'll do every other one. So keep thinking through this stuff, okay? I'm going to go, Oh, where have you been, Billy Boy, Billy Boy? Oh, where have you been, Charming Billy? So there's the first key change, so the or chord change. And da 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 Okay, um, maybe, maybe you didn't do that strum at the end, right? But you get the idea there. Um, I'm gonna try to do the, do the actual melody and play along here, get through this one. So keep the F sharp in mind. I'm gonna look at this one and say, C, E. I, I don't know if there are any. Well, we'll find out. I'll mess up. It won't sound right if there is, and I don't catch it. So, okay, one, two, three, four, one, play. Uh-oh, there it was. No, no one. I'm sorry, there's a G. Boy, oh boy, I blundered that one too. This is a great lesson series where the teacher always blunders the... So let's try it again. Ready, play. Well, three, four, one, two. One, two. So this is four, four. So it's sometimes hard to get the count, ready? Like one, two, three, four. One, two, one. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, so did you catch the tie at the end where it keeps going? Hey, that's, uh, boy, oh boy, that was part two of nine, but that is, uh, I'm almost done my for my time here again. What's coming next? That was page 62. We have R. Lee coming up by W.W. W. Fosdick, Fosdick and George R. Poulton, 1861. Let's look at that one next, okay? So go to lesson nine, I believe part two coming up, right? Verify me on that. I might be wrong. <laughs>